prominent? Stu Drexel and his wife. Stu and Bessie? No. Hi. Hi, Jess. McKee, this is Mr. Jessup of the Milford Herald. Hi, Jessup, Jessup. Oh, the west slope between the Pattersons and the Finleys. What else is new? You were my big news for the day. Asked about plans for the coming year, Kraft revealed the Immortal Hills will install a drive-in bar to stimulate additional trade. I'm stuck with the obituary detail. Boy, it's cold in here. Aki, let's get that heat on. I'll let in tomorrow. We better get ready for the interment. Aye, right, that'll be done, sir. And you better change the Drexel pins. Black instead of white. Oh, they already got black pins, sir. Oh, who changed them? Well, no, the last I remember was the very day they come out here to give you the order, and you stuck in two pens. Yeah, I guess that's right. I must have picked up the wrong color. Mm -hmm. well, nothing, it's just a little weird, that's all. What? Well, the kids came out here right after they tied the knot, and they bought a couple of plots. Stu was complying with some technicality in his trust, and it was all very cute. We had a couple of laughs. And afterwards, I jabbed two pins in the map, white pins, I thought, just to make it official. And I hear today they've been killed, and the maps had them on the blacklist all the time. Okay, so what? Well, nothing. It just made me feel a little eerie, that's all. I think he means he marked the young couple for death, sir. Yeah, I guess that was it. That must have been the feeling I had. Well, it's funny what'll go through a guy's mind, isn't it? Do me a favor, McKee. If he starts fooling around with those pins again, be sure he stays away from the west slope, between the Pattersons and the Finleys. Indeed, I will, sir. Hi, Annie. What are you doing out here? I had a luncheon date, but I was stood up. I know a nice little place down the street. I just might take you up on that. I won't hold my breath. Oh, George told me about Beth and Stuart. I just had to see you. Made me think how lucky we are just to be alive and together. Oh, Anne, this is Mr. McKee. Oh. This is Miss Craig, my fiance, Andy. How do you do? Miss, would you be wanting me for anything else, Bobby? No, thanks, Andy. Bob? Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just a little depressed, that's all. But you'll take care of that. And I kept wishing we could keep our appointment. Oh, rendezvous, if you don't mind. Your gray flannel is showing. <laughs> Actually, do you know what made me turn around and come here instead of going home? Mm -hmm. Well, I was driving along, feeling rejected. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, I saw you very clearly in my mind. Bob, it's just that you're too attractive. After all, president of a department store and in charge of the Immortal Hills. Irresistible. <laughs> I saw you and I heard you. Lunchtime, Annie. That's what you said distinctly. <laughs> Lunchtime, Annie. Well, I can do better than that, I hope. Oh, you did. You said, I want you. And I need you. And a whole lot of lovely things I'd be embarrassed to repeat. Yeah. You know, just about the time you were seeing me, I had you on my mind. That's amazing. No, I mean it. And I don't blame you for not wanting to repeat what I was thinking. Uh, we better go to lunch or get married. Or I can just as easily join Jess at that little spot down the road he spoke of. We regret the management does not permit exchanges once the merchandise has been purchased. Then I'll freshen up. Sorry, the funeral's been confined to the immediate family. 
Yeah, all right, Carmen. See you later. No, no. Drexel stone for class. Fine and rich and swirly. I'm a granite fan myself. Bobby! Bobby! I've got a surprise. Found your replacement. Oh, well, no, no, not yet. But I'm scouting the countryside. This is far sweeter. This is what I call getting things done. Oh, you should have been an executive. <laughs> uh, hey, best take off your coat, Bobby. You'll be getting overheated. <laughs> Fairly quiet this week. Only one passing. Now, if you'll just sign these. Let's get rid of these flowers. Oh, I they smell a wee bit sickly. I was hoping to keep them for the burial this afternoon. Did my job. Oh, no, this is just an average funeral. They don't come like the Drexel doings every day, thank the Lord. I keyed this bill for W. Isham. What's it for? Well, he's the lad for this afternoon, Bobby. Oh, no need to look so sad. Willisham was the same age lad as me. Oh, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Mighty queer it strikes me, Bob. I went to the map just after we got the news. The change Willisham's been to black. It was already black. Looks like there might be something creepy up with that map. Changing pen colors without human assistance, no less. I changed Mr. Rysom's pen, Andy. You... But, Bob, you haven't been here since he died. Yes, I know, I changed his pen before he died, not a... Yes, it's Bob Kraft. Can you come over here right away? No, I'm at the cemetery. That map's nothing but an old piece of paper hanging on the wall. All you do when you stick pins in it is to make holes in the paper. White pins, black pins, safety pins. It doesn't make any difference, see? Well, look, it's unfortunate that it worked out this way, but coincidence is a part of everyday life. Some are funny, some are pretty odd, but this one isn't even good enough to make the back page of the shopping news. That's all it is, Bob, coincidence. Yeah. You're right, Jess. Thanks. That's okay. Sometime when I've tied on a real headbender, you can do the same for me. What's your trouble? Well, nothing, but I've been through all this before. Grass, 
and the quiet and that sound. I never knew what it was. It's the sound of a name being cut into a headstone. Yeah, I've, I've heard of people who thought they'd been through the same bit before in their dreams. I think it's even happened to me. What would you say if I told you this happens to me regularly? Ever since I was a child. Sometimes as often as every other week. I'd say you were sensitive or exaggerating. 